Thank you very much. And thank you. Well, good evening. Good evening. Oh, dear. Good evening. Good evening. It's lovely to be here. We are Cafe Society, our first ever George down here. It's a lovely place and a lovely day for it, wasn't it? Yeah. Hi, Jack. And our first song to uh, to kick the evening's proceedings off, we hope appropriately, uh, we're going to play a song of dedication to all those to all those cherub-faced lovelies out there. <laughs> you know who you are. Yes, sir, over there. Yes. And the song is called Ain't She Sweet? And if you know the words, you're very welcome to accompany me on the vocal refrain. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the privacies 
or indeed the intimacies of, of home movies. Now I gaze around the room this evening. Does anybody here enjoy home movies? <laughs> I suspected so. Yes. But of course, there was a time before uh, before you could enjoy this particular this particular activity. All that one had to make do with was a cherished daguerreotype. A photograph. A photograph. An image of the one you love and possibly a reminder of the way things might have been had things not been as they had been. How many humans? You see what I mean? I don't think I could actually. How many humans? Therefore, there are far too many memes. Um, um, and so with that, uh, this song written very much with that sentiment in mind, if I had a talking picture of you. Thank you.
who upon the advent of the talkies lost a great deal of favour. Now I'm sure that we've all been in the same situation ourselves, where you're at a cocktail party. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you see a beautiful girl across the room. And you go over to her and you say, Hello. You're nice. Can I, uh, can I get you a drink? And she looks back at you, gleaming and glamorous, and says, Lovely, great, little baby, Shankly. <laughs> and the spell is broken. <laughs> no, no, she was from, um, <laughs> Glasgow. <laughs> anyway, yes, and, um, I guess for this song, it's all about the silent movie, Starlet. Chili Bomb Bomb. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes, she was from Wolverhampton originally. Yeah. All I prefer to say on the matter. Yes, a fish. Your foot. <coughs>
Yes. Ah, and now, ladies and gentlemen, at this point of the show, or dare I say, extravaganza. Dare I say. Whispering. Yes. Now, I'd like to, first of all, introduce you to the, uh, to the gentleman of the band. First of all, this is Andy on there. Say hello, Andy. Originally from uh, Merseyside, oh. but we don't talk about that. <laughs> and uh, uh, Willie Anderson here, of course. Uh, Mr. Will we'll say hello, Willie. Hello. Willie originally from Wigan and continues to be so. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> we have. Where are you from, Mark? Snow Hill. Where? Morgan Mark. Uh, yes, Mark is from. Say hello, Malcolm. It's a local following. Yes, indeed. It's local. No, it's, it's just very good value. Yes. Okay. Now, this next song we'd like to feature. Now, for all those out there this evening who may be, uh, shall we say, pursuing a agenda of romance. <laughs> Is there anybody here? Anybody? Anybody? No. 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 Well, I am. If anybody's interested. No. 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 Um, Yes, well, now we have Ed Henderson here on the end. Now, Henderson's known in parts of, well, in Merseyside, of course, is from, a, 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 to be more precise, from a place you may never have heard of, and if you haven't, you're probably very lucky, but the place is called uh, St. Helens. <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, of course, Andy had to move from St. Helens. Should I tell them why? No, no, no. And, uh, but nevertheless, um, yes, Andy's known as a bit of a bit of a smoocher, you see, a bit of a smoochy, a romantic. All the girls go crazy for him. Do you think there are any girls here going crazy for him at the moment? <laughs> oh, his wife is over there. So it's okay. I didn't even see your hand there, Alison. No. Anyway, yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to feature now Mr. Andy's smoochy vocals, Henderson, here, uh, in, a, in a beautiful song. And uh, you may feel your hand <coughs> going towards the knee of the person sat next to you, or if you're with your wife, maybe. And, um, and uh, I say this may very well aid your, your prospective agenda for romance this evening. After the show, we paved the way for passion. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Smoochie Vocals Henson. Thank you, dear. Yeah. 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 So the, why are we doing that? It's not going as well as I thought. Okay, go on. Thank you. 
Before the ukulele playing the bucktooth superhero that you all know, there was his father. Now I don't mean that obviously biologically, of course I'm good without saying. But what I mean is, is that he was his father was also a very famous music hall star. Uh, he was also known as George Formby, and uh, he was known as the Wigan Nightingale. And this goes back to about the 1900s or thereabout. And really, it's a little bit like, you know, we, we, if you go up to, uh, you know, we come down here, we exchange culture, you know, we come down here and see uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, countryside and lovely people. If you go to Wigan, you'll get probably some sort of infection. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this is a little bit like a cultural, cultural exchange, really, you see. And a little bit of a interesting and, and, and entertaining. It's, we, we, we aim to, to educate as well as entertain. <laughs> 1916. 1916, this actually is. Yes. Or thereabouts. Well, the recording was, but I suspect it's been going on longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. And the song is called John Willie's Ragtime Band. And as I perform this, I shall be adopting the manner of the great George Forby Senior. It was reputed that George Forby Senior, I think, Named Wigan Pier. He, he, his, he was responsible for calling Wigan Pier the canal. There you are. Google. He didn't rehearse this, will he? Why do we need to go to Blackpool for the pier when we've got a perfectly good pier and it was a landing stage for the Leeds and Liverpool Canal? Well, that's 
That'll be, well. the, that'll be the education part then, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Better applause for Willie there. Oh, yes, indeed. Do you feel broadened by him? <laughs> yes. Stretched is the word for <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> song is called John Willie's Ragtime Band, if you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> Is it my fault? Is it an accompaniment? Um, should I do it on the ukulele or should I? Oh, it's gone out. Willie would like to, before we start, Willie would like to do the, the, uh, the joke about this ukulele. Go on, Willie. It's had a very chequered history. <laughs> Here we go, Jungle is Ragtime Band. A one, a two, a three, a four. Permission to have her hand in matrimony 
And then after the wedding, you can have the rest of her. Ha ha! And um, and so yeah, so so you've got to imagine the scene now, where you're in the church. The church there is all family and friends are all there in their finery, and he's standing there at the altar, and she doesn't turn up. Oh. Indeed. I don't know. What's that? Is it? Well, anyway. That's what it is. And so this one with a sentiment in mind. <coughs> Boo hoo. <laughs> I did that very well then, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> I created a boo hoo, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. I felt it. That's what it was called. I think it was that anyway. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I'm ready.
Yeah. Oh, he's got it, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. There's no need for that. What? <laughs> vocals once again, with I can't give you anything but love, for at least since the advent of antibiotics. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
like to see you looking swell, baby. Let's mix for long defenders, walk with sticks or umbrellas. 